Hello and welcome to the Norris Ring in Germany for round 5 of the South African Simulation Formula 3 series. A track that looks simple but is in fact very technical to drive around. And at the moment we'll have a look at the current drivers championship standings. It is Gabriel so he continues to lead the championship 6 points ahead of teammate Gert James. A bit further behind is Jason Holden Jones in third position. Clifford Nidal leading the AM class ahead of Kerry Crawford in the team's championship. HBS leads the Real McCoy DB by 46 points. The Real McCoy, fortunately, not here at the Norris Ring together with HRT. We look forward to having them back during round six at Sanford. The qualifying results for this race, it is Kerry Crawford who starts from pole position for HJ Esports. Jason Holden Jones, his teammate, starts in second position. And then we have the two AGBS entries of Rousseau and James. RC Fanatics in fifth position with Osmond Feli, head of M2 Racing's Amri Sinaran. Chad Cook also starts for M2 Racing from seventh. Shiraz Dada from eighth. Peter Krabler rounds up the field in ninth position on debut. Krabler and Cook both on debut in fact. The drivers have started the pace lap for the start of the race where they'll speed up to race pace from the very last corner. You see Kerry Crawford gathering the field for the start. Crawford will speed up to race pace from now. And the race has started to see the two HJ Esports entries of Crawford and Holden Jones leading the two AGBS cars. The first time that has happened this season. Crawford joining the HJ Esports outfit to take on the mighty AGBS team, here's, which has been. Mostly dominant throughout the championship. We see attack here from Osman Ferli on Emerson Rain. It is M2 Racing versus RC Fanatics. This is Sinaran hitting the wall there, unfortunately. And Ferli will slip past into fifth position. On board with Gabriel, so he's having a good go at Jason Holden Jones. He wants a second position so he can go after a race leader, Kerry Crawford. The HJ Esports car is pulling away there slightly. Oh, here comes the move from Rousseau. Great stuff up the inside. Can Holden Jones cat back inside of him? No, he can't. And Rousseau has got that job done. Jones running deep there through the Shirley S's. This losing a bit of ground to Rousseau. You can see that gap now. And Rousseau is now going after race leader Harry Crawford. Crawford, of course, our M class leader as well as le well as leading the overall race. It's a fantastic performance here by the M class leader. Osmond Philly always improving, not far behind in fifth position, trying to expand that gap back to Amri Sinaran. Philly's teammate there, Shiraz Dada in picture now, leads Chad Cook. Cook replacing Mark Mikia for M2 Racing for this round. And Cook's got a wrong enter spin he goes, and unfortunately he tags Peter Krabler in the process. Probably with no way to go. 
but he has rejoined the race, okay? Cinerate has found his way back past Valley. And now leads both of the RC Fanatics. Green cars. Valley getting a bit out of shape. His teammate Shiraz Dada run past him. Dada looking much quicker here at the Norris ring compared to what we saw at the last round at Spielberg. with Cat James in fourth position. And Jason Hall Jones desperately trying to get that second position back from Gabriel so Crafford looking very comfortable at this early stage. About to complete lap 4 of 34. Of course, a very short track of just 2.3 kilometers. Very much different to our last circuit, Spielberg. High speed, demanding a lot of downforce, where the Norris ring is more about mechanical grip. SJ Sports certainly faring a lot better here at the low speed circuit. So Shiraz that they're up on the curve trying to find a way past this man Chad Cook. Oh he's got it all wrong. Around goes Dada. Well that's a pity it was a great race there between him and Cook. She so watch the man on debut, Peter Krobler. Great to have him with us in the championship. In the background, Cat James pushing very hard, just brushing the wall, similar to what they do at the Canadian Grand Prix in Formula One, in the Wall of Champions. They want to get as close as possible to that wall. See Holden Jones catching up to Rousseau. Quite a big speed differential between the two cars. A different aerodynamic setup. Getting the HJ Esports cars are running less wing and enjoying a much higher top speed towards the end of the main straight. But this is where the AGBS cars are a bit better exiting the corner. It's only a bit quicker through the final corner leading onto the main straight, pulling a gap. So watch the two M2 racing cars together. Cook leads Cinerain. Cinerain's had a bit of a moment and lost a bit of time. He found himself behind his teammate. Osman Philly leading the two M2 racing purple cars. There is in the green car for RC Fanatics. So good fight between these three drivers. As the duck trying to catch up to make it a four way battle. We're back now with our race leader on lap nine. So you watch the Rissa Holden Jones battle raging on. See Holden Jones getting a bit of, a bit of oversteer out of turn one. 
this does look like quite a, a simple track but there are a couple of bumps just we don't want them and they tend to unsettle the car and it can be tricky to get a quick clap here at the Norris ring Jones pushing very hard, slight lock up on entry, and then wheel spinning the back tyres on exit, pushing very hard to try and catch up to Rousseau and challenging for that second position. Cat James struggling here at the Norris ring, but is getting quicker and quicker. He might seem a lot stronger in race two. Osmond Feliz pulled a nice gap now back to his teammate in the two M2 racing cars. Shows that uh, gets well under the way. So running slightly deep into the Shola S's. This will allow Jason Holden Jones a better run. There's no end here. Rousseau in the run into the final corner. And to the main straight we go. We may see the, the speed differential here on board with Holden Jones. And you can see here as we close up to Rousseau. Breaking we go. Into the Shola S's. Put not to run too deep. Just like Holm just did then too deep losing corner speed for the following corner. Better way to do that is to use the slow entry speed into the first apex and almost run along the barrier on the right. And then the start lay later entry point is the apex for the second part of the S's. Tends to help the exit speed onto the back straight.
Mercedes runs slightly wide. Will it allow Holden Jones to slip up the inside? No, it's not. And Rousseau's got a better drive around the outside. Probably a straighter exit point. Holden Jones getting the line a bit better there through the show laces. Following the inside barrier. Oh, I can't. James running into the wall. He manages to keep going. So running wide once again, but it seems that it's a better exit that way, and the gap remains the same. Back to Holden Jones. Holden Jones seem seemingly using the same line as Rousseau there. Osman Philly driving very well here at the Norris Ring, always improving. Chad Cook leads Peter Krobler. And Amir Sinaran. Really enjoying this contest between Rousseau and Holden Jones. Very similar driving styles as well. Different car setups, clearly. But working out to a very similar lap time. And Holden Jones not able to use that straight line advantage. As by the time they reach the first corner, Rousseau's got enough in hand to keep a hand head. The research run wide. Mark oh, breaks himself slowly, slowed himself, and Holden Jones took avoiding action, doing very well not to, to run to the back of Rousseau. Crafford now well and truly on way to his maiden victory in the Formula 3 series. Not only the Formula 3 series, but maiden victory in overall for all the national championships. Crafford of course taking part in the South African Sim GD series and the Sim HTC series, the historic touring car championship. This race definitely seems to be going the way of Kerry Crawford. Very working very well together with his new team HJ Esports. His first race with them. And they've got that car set up very well and suiting Crawford down to the ground. Holden Jones flicking the car through the Charlotte S's and then just clipping the wall on exit, pushing very hard. Just not quite able to get at Rousseau. And he'll be ruining that pass from Rousseau into turn one. Just not able to recover from that.
Chad Cook leads Peter Krobler and Amrish Sinaran. In the background you have our race leaders coming through so they have to pick their way through traffic without losing too much time. They, this could prove interesting. On board with Krobler now. As he chases down Chad Cook. And Cook's got it wrong into the show aces. And Peter Krobler does very well not to hit him. And find a way through. Threading his way past Cook. Into sixth position. So Krobler and Debbie doing very well. Siren are breaking himself into the Grindic Tower corner. He has done well to let past Kerry Crawford. Not quite sure if that was part of the plan to let Crawford through. So Siren doing very well not to hold up the race leader. As he has got Gabriso bearing down on him on board with Sinaran. Sinaran will be trying to use use Crawford who's trying to lap his teammate Chad Cook. It might prove to be an overtaking opportunity for Sinaran. You can see Cook in the distance there moving over for race leader Crawford. Sinaran is caught right back up to his teammate Chad Cook. This is well and truly on 4 7th between the two M2 racing cars. Straight pretty quick through the S's. Good exit. And a good drive now on Cook. And they run side by side into the final corner of the track. Another good exit from the Sinrani. He gives his teammate a love tap. Not quite sure what Cook would think about that. Sinner now in the slipstream. He'll be looking for an upbreaking move into the Grundig corner. Has he got that job done? And we'll be holding up second place man Rousseau and he'll be walking working for Holden Jones in third. Sinaran moves aside for Rousseau. The Holden Jones also flash by. Yes, he will. Sinaran and Coco resume their battle now. Comes the move here up the inside. Sinaran on Cook, but Cook gets a better exit. And he takes that seventh position. Cat James coming up to put a lap on them as well. Oh! They come together around, they go. And James will not be tangled up in that. Cook still leads teammate Sinaran. The Son Holden Jones coming up on Peter Krobler. Turn, he's found his way past Suraz Dada. Probably would just let past Rasson Holden Jones without letting 
slowing them down good stuff from the man on debut board with Holden Jones background Dada and Krabler battling away side by side exiting the Schirler S's just three laps remaining for Crawford Osman Fali in fifth position looking comfortable. With Rousseau looking back at Holden Jones, these two absolutely glued together throughout the race. Holden Jones so close to the barrier there on the inside. We'll be looking for a good exit now of this corner. Rousseau definitely hasn't covered for now. And enough of a buffer back to Holden Jones to negate that high top speed advantage Holden Jones does have. You can see him coming towards him now. We are back with Kerry Crawford who has begun the final lap of the race. Crawford is about to win his very first race with HJ Esports. To take his maiden victory in a Sim Race South Africa hosted national championship race. Absolute faultless drive by Crawford leading from pole position to win here at the Norris Ring. He weaves into that. Of course, Rousseau gets second position ahead of. Jason Holden Jones, fantastic contest between those two. Here, James will get fourth for HBS. Osmond Philly will finish in fifth position. Peter Krubler, a lap down, will get sixth. Chad Cook in seventh. And Amrish Sinrain in eighth. And Shiraz Dada completes the field in ninth position.
Now into race two. Qualifying saw Gabe Rousseau this time claiming pole position ahead of Jason Holden Jones, who also beat Kerry Crapper to second. Kat yeah, James in fourth position, so AGB is first and fourth for this race, and the two HJ Esports cars in second and third. Osman Philly, another good qualifying session for him. He starts from fifth position for RC Fanatics. Amri Shinren will start from sixth position for M2 Racing. Head of Peter Krabler from seventh. And Chad Cook will start from eighth position to round up the field. Shiraz Dada, unfortunately, not able to make the grid for this race. So now gathering the field for the start of the race and off we go. The race has started. A good start by Rousseau. It's left Holden Jones somewhat behind to deal with his teammate Crawford. And Cat James is right there in fourth position as well. In the background, we see Amrish Sinaran putting trying to put a move on Osman Fali. Now, Jason Holden Jones. Oh, this is actually Kieran Crawford. I beg your pardon. Chasing down teammate Jason Holden Jones. Holden Jones be looking to use that high speed differential to Gabriel to try and put a move on him into turn one. They're running side by side now. Rousseau feeling the need to go defensive. He's gone wide. Jason Holden Jones is going to try and cut in the inside. But Rousseau has got plenty of drive off the apex. So now going to the Shola S's for the second time. And Holden Jones has run deep. It's going to cost him speed now out of the corner. And you can see Rousseau extending the gap. We expect a stronger performance here by Cat James. Has maybe made a couple of set of changes for race two. We're so using an even wider line now. It maintains the gap back to Holden Jones. Crafted. Jones getting so cl close to the gearbox of Rousseau, almost running into the back of him, exiting that last corner. Rousseau scrambling to go defensive into the first corner, chooses the inside line. Holden Jones runs side by side with him, tries to get the slingshot out of the corner. back from our race leader Rousseau at Holden Jones and Crawford and James there of course right there the top four fighting for the win of race two Just watching Rousseau exiting the last corner. I wonder if he's got a better gear set for the exit of that last corner. Is he able to accelerate away? So slightly unbreaking himself to unnerves Holden Jones who runs wide. Crawford tries to run alongside of him. 
Oladon's feeling the need to go defensive as well, inducing ground to Rousseau while keeping Crawford behind him at the same time. That has allowed Kat James to get a lot closer. As you see, one of the M2 racing cars and the RC Fanatics car getting together. Holden Jones running wide again into the final corner. HJ Esports will be looking to understand if Crawford is quicker than Holden Jones and perhaps we'll see a switch in position. But that is difficult when you have a rival car right between your two cars. As if team orders do come into effect, this James is very well not to run to the back of Crawford there. Of course, you don't want your two cars switching position then losing position to another car. But Holden Jones is now caught right back up to Rousseau. Now challenging him for the lead once again. So Holden Jones just gathering himself there after those last couple of errors. with Holden Jones Restores run wide once again, but that will allow him a better exit speed. So interesting lines by Rousseau through turn one. One would think that a line like that would be slow, but actually in fact is getting better drive that way further away from the apex Peter Krabler flashes by Osmond Feli and Amrish Simran unfortunately Finds himself in the wall on the exit of the show laces. Watching there on board from Crawford, you can see Holden Jones sliding around that last corner, trying to get the car as straight as possible for the exit out of the final car onto the main straight. Looking for the highest top speed as possible for braking for turn one. And he has closed the gap to Rousseau. Rousseau looking a bit better through the Shola S's. Holden Jones falling back the S's so he's going to need to do that a lot better if he's to take on Rousseau for the race win Crawford's right on his gearbox now as well will we see Holden Jones move aside for Crawford Crawford having to take avoiding action there almost tagging his teammate yeah James always there in fourth position any kind of mistake between those two HJ Esports cars, James will be through and joining his teammate at the front.
Kaka seems to be catching up to his teammate but then backing off and not quite having the pace through certain par parts of the track so making it difficult for HJE Sports to make the right decision here The HA Esports want to win this race has been AGBS's way for far too long in this championship. They them winning all of the four rounds up till now. Of course Crafford won race one for HA Esports. But HA Esports will very much wanting to make it a double victory here at the Norris Ring to send a message to AGBS. Oh, Jones got it all wrong into the final corner. Crawford does very well not to run into the back of him, but his captain's going to slip by. Yes, he does. So James up into third position. He's going to try and find his way past Crawford as well. We're on board with Holden Jones. He's looking for the outside line around James. That's brave. And James is going to try to break him. Oh, he's lost it into the side of Crawford. Around goes Crawford. Holden Jones back into second position. Crawford back to third and James back to third. So they've organized themselves as to where they were before that incident. Of course that has allowed Rousseau to escape up the road to take control of this race. Crawford and James do not seem to have sustained too much damage. Look to be straight back on the pace. But you can see the gap back to second place man Holden Jones. So this has worked in favour of Rousseau. Holden Jones runs wide. But does not lose position to Crawford. HA Esports cars now got, got a gap back to James. So if they are wanting to swap positions now would be the time to do so. And this Holden Jones proves quicker through the middle stage of the race. We'll have to see what happens. So at this stage looking good for another victory in this championship to extend his driver's championship lead.
Holden Jones and Crawford are now closing the gap to Rousseau. So this might not be over just yet. Crawford now caught right up to the back of Holden Jones. Surely this is now decision time for HA Esports. What are they going to do? Are they going to let Crawford pass Holden Jones to go after Rousseau? He does seem to have the pace. But there you see again the gap expand between Holden Jones and Crawford. Holden Jones is definitely catching up to Rousseau, but is it fast enough? Can Crawford do a better job and take that win away from Rousseau and AGBS? Yeah, again that slide and point from Holden Jones just straightening out the car a bit quicker there and compared to Crawford getting on the car a bit earlier there's a peculiar line there again by Reserve but Holden Jones does exactly the same thing Crawford cuts the apex a bit earlier Lap 23 off 34 and Holden Jones still ahead of Crawford.
Sinner led by Feli. Sinner is, is a lap down. Unfortunately, we saw his car against the barrier earlier on in the race. Peter Krabbe was about to put a lap on him in the white car. And we are back with the battle for second position. On lap 26 of 34. Yeah, James still in fourth position. Yeah, Krav is just going to miss Cinderin, is doing his best to keep out the way of the leaders. Always a difficult thing to do. Sinner and the in man doing well, not to make any sort of con contact. SJ Esports is slowly taking the fight to Rousseau and AGBS. But it's not quick enough and we see here the switch between the two HJ Esports drivers. Holden Jones moves aside for Crawford. Now the big question is does Crawford have enough pace to catch Rousseau and then pass him during the what is now the last five laps of the race. But for now it is Gabriel Rousseau who leads race two here at the Norris Ring. Round 5 of the South African Simulation Formula 3 series. And if you're watching this and you're wanting to join this championship, by all means, please visit our website at www.simracesa.co.za. Register on the forum. And what you can do is post in the Introduce Yourself section on the forum. And let us know that you would like to join this championship. So it puts a lap on Peter Krabler. And his Crawford is definitely starting to move away from Holden Jones now. Been filling in fifth position. On board now with Crawford, and you can see that gap diminishing. And of course, it's one thing to catch up to another car, and it's another thing to actually make the pass especially with just three laps remaining of this very short track lap times in the late 50 second bracket
Crawford ready now. Putting the pressure on Rousseau. What can he do during these last two laps? Now on the final lap of this race. Crafton not quite close enough to Rousseau to attempt to move into the Grundig corner. Through the Shirley S as we go for the very last time. But I think Rousseau has done enough to take victory. Approaching the very last corner now. And Gabriel so will power his way all the way to victory here at the Norris Ring. Congratulations to Gabriel so and AGBS. Just uh, Kerry Crawford, of course, takes second position ahead of Jason Holden Jones. So, yet another double podium for HJ Esports. Care James. Finish in fourth position. Osman Bali will get fifth. Peter Krabler on debut. Finish in sixth position ahead of Chair Cook in seventh. And Sinaran gets. Unfortunately, has retired from the race. Yeah. The Drivers' Championship standings after this round at the Norris Ring sees Gabe Rousseau continue to lead the Drivers' Championship by 12 points ahead of teammate Kat James and 20 points ahead of Jason Holden Jones in third position. Kerry Crawford right there in fourth position but leading the F3 AM class ahead of Clifford Needell. AGBS continues to lead the team's championship by 36 points ahead of HJ Esports. We look forward to that team battle continuing throughout the season. And that we conclude round 5 of the South African Simulation Formula 3 series at the Norris Ring. From me, Jason Holden Jones, thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget, forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you'd like to get involved in the racing, please visit our website at www.simracesa.co.za and introduce yourself on the forum. I'm sure we'll find a championship for you to race in. Until round 6 at Zandvoort, all the best until then.